Hey Log readers, hope everyone's having an awesome Wednesday. I'm Lindsay Glasgow, staff writer and reporter at The Log, and I'm in Marina Del Rey. I'm at the boatyard, and I am talking about marine corrosion. And today we're talking with Victor Scona, mm -hmm. who is the service manager here, as well as Greg Shem, who is the owner of the boatyard. Um, so I guess let's just start by telling us what is marine corrosion and what should boaters know about marine corrosion. Sure. Well, this is a topic that's probably one of the most important maintenance items that boaters ought to be aware of and probably one of the most overlooked issues. It's an issue that has to do with galvanic corrosion, has to do with metals being deteriorated by stray currents from a uh, number of sources, it could be the boats not properly wired, it could be the docks not properly wired, but anytime you have dissimilar metals or you have a stray current, you're going to have the corrosion and the loss of metal. So we take protective uh, measures by putting what we call the sacrificial anode uh, onto a boat, and that is a metal that uh, Victor will show you in a minute, that basically is, its, its purpose in life is to be deteriorated before the boat gets deteriorated. So these things are changed as they, as they are dissolved, as they're used up, and typically a diver will do that as a normal course of maintenance, or uh, if it's pulled out in the boat yard, uh, we'll do that typically on a, on a maintenance. Cool. And so we have some boats here that we're going to take a look at. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it around for everyone watching to see. All right. So let's take a look at this boat. Victor, can you tell us what's going on here? Sure. Sure. This boat came out for regular maintenance, uh, bottom paint, and at the same time we're replacing the anodes. And uh, this is where they, you know, the stage of they were, and now this is a new sacrificial anode. So. This is about, you know, 65% um, worn. So it had a little bit of life left, but since the boat's out, we're replacing it because you don't want it to go down more than, you know, 80%. So um, by, by replacing this, you're obviously uh, protecting all your metals, your silicon bronze, your stainless steel, your aluminum. So um, very important to replace this every time it needs it. Because as, uh, as I will show you in a minute, it can be devastated. Thousands and thousands of dollars of uh, repairs by not replacing uh, uh, a small item like this, a sacrificial service. So we do, ha you do have a boat here that is sort of a worst case scenario um, where marine corrosion has kind of destroyed it. Um, can you show us that? Absolutely. All right. We're gonna well, pull away there so you can you, I guess you can stop it and then. And so for boaters who have questions um, related to marine corrosion and they're looking to get in contact with you to get some answers, um, how can they do that? Well, either uh, stop by the boatyard here in Marina Del Rey and talk to Victor uh, and his staff or contact us over the telephone or our website uh, at TBY mdr.com that's the boatyard tbymdr.com cool awesome um for people that are looking to replace something like a sacrificial anode on their own is that something um that they can do or do you kind of encourage people to um have a professional do it how does that work well boat maintenance can be done by individuals and there's nothing wrong with an individual if they'd like to get in the water and uh <laughs> change the zinc um, they're not terribly expensive and it's not a very difficult maintenance item to do. Uh, the water is cold and uh, you know there are certain dangers you have to be cognizant of if you're not a professional. So uh, yeah, you can do it yourself if you, know, if you know what you're doing. Cool. So here we see the boat that's got uh, major damage. And yeah, as you can see the fiberglass and everything looks in pretty good shape because it's obviously not metal. But once you get to the uh, to the metal components, which this over here is a stainless steel, um, but due to the lack of installing a, a sacrificial sink in here, it's uh, it has just uh, eating away on the metal, which now all the rivets have broken loose and it, it has come apart, so it's completely useless. Now that's. That's that's a, a, a small damage. I mean, compared to this, this is a full uh, stern drive that is being exposed 
to corrosion without any protection and it has now created holes on the housing and I'm pretty sure that inside all the gears have been chewed up and, and, and it's uh, not working anymore. You can actually poke a hole in it. Yeah. It's got so deteriorated. So that means it leaked out all the oil and, you know, like, like Greg pointed out a minute ago, it's not only this, it's, 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 it's an, it hurts the environment as well. This so. is a great worst case scenario. Yeah. We don't see boats getting to this stage very often. So when you get to this stage, not only is this owner looking at tens of thousands of dollars of damages, but potentially uh, damages to the environment by leaking oil. So it's really important to stay on top of these kind of movements. Cool. And so while we close out, do you have any quick tips before we head out for boaters that they should remember from this? Remember the boat yard. <laughs> come, come if you have questions, if you have uh, repairs, if there's anything we can do to help, we like to be the one-stop uh, shop and answer source for the motors and Marina Del Rey. So, welcome. Cool. Well, thank you, Greg and Victor. And for our log readers, we will have a full story on marine corrosion um, on our in our December 26th issue. So keep an eye out for that. Um, if you have any other boating or marine related questions that you want the log to cover, feel free to comment those below. Um, and if this felt for you helpful for you, make sure to give this video a like. And I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for joining us. We hope to see you next time.